that's the truth of this case, of the killing game itself. Well, Tsumugi? Well, what? Yes! What a scorching hot twist! My hand holding the detonator is tensing up! D don't get tense! C -c Calm down! Daddy! Please stop this! Go back to how you used to be! When you loved us so, so much! How I used to be was more suited to a different story than this one! Your story doesn't matter. I can watch this exciting development! Well, Tsumugi, are there any flaws in Shuichi's logic? If so, then please tell us. Flaws? There's a bunch of flaws all over it! Then explain. Y you can do it! You can do it, Tsumugi! E even if you cheer me on... It's not like that! I didn't do it! It's plain to see! Fight back, Samogi! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Daddy! You're tensing up again! I still want to live, so please don't push the button! Samogi, please just say something. If you don't defend yourself... It's Junko and Oshima! What? In the Hope's Peak killing game, and in the Jabberwock Island killing game, Junko and Oshima didn't participate. She controlled the game from outside. Even if it's boring or repetitive, she's always the mastermind, isn't she? Then it's like that this time, too. It's gotta be Junko again! Junko and Oshima is dead. She's not part of this killing game. You're wrong. She hasn't been eliminated. She's... It's all Junko's doing! This killing game is her doing, too! Yeah! That's gotta be it! Cause Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Cause Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Daddy, please don't get so excited! You pressed the button by accident! Look at our cute faces! Can you really bear to be without us? Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is what? Okay, time for a commercial break. No, it isn't! See? We're a good comedy group, too! So please, don't... Cause... Junko and Oshima is... Junko... Inoshima is... Right the fuck here! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Even if nobody was waiting. Even if it makes you go, what? Again? The diva of despair takes the stage once more. Junko Enoshima, the 53rd. <laughs> Shirogane? Our friend who survived with us? <laughs> Sorry about that. You can go ahead and forget about Simugi Shirogane. But I'm just a character. You know, a lie. Sorry to all her fans out there. If any of you even exist, that is. A, a lie? Simugi Shirogane was nothing more than a cover for me, the mastermind. <laughs> Calling her your friend? Ugh, it's laughable, really. Really? I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> Are you serious? You're the mastermind behind this? But why? That face and that voice. It's just like... Yuko and Shima. I know, right? Oh, does it make you fall into despair? 
<laughs> well, does it? That's not possible. Junko Inoshima is dead. Why did you call yourself the 53rd? As history repeats itself, so does Junko Inoshima. As you can see, I am a perfect reproduction of Junko Inoshima. So, you're just a freak pretending to be Junko Inoshima, huh? No, a perfect reproduction. Perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Her logic is impossible to follow, much like the real Junko Inoshima's. Whatever it is, you're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? So if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? Say mean things like that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. It never ends the game? What do you mean? She's bluffing. Let's just kill her and get it over with. Wait! If force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she... No need, Kibo, because this class trial is over. What? It's already over? But I just showed up! You killed Kaede, and Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. The class trials are rigged, and this whole game is illegitimate. Oh, that. Right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. So? So? Is that all you have to say? The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game! Huh? The viewers? Uh, it seems like you're on the wrong track, so let me explain. Okay, so first, I'll start with the event that inspired me to plan this killing game. That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me... Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. And then I took the name Tsumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? He was your comrade, right? Huh? Comrade? Junko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. It's like, you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. But I am despair itself. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. <laughs> what a hopeless existence he led. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? There's nobody watching. Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? You're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. You're what? I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. And you just wanted to recreate the past killing game. That's it? Yep, that's it. There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! No, that's wrong! Oh dear! I am so surprised! 
Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Here, look at this book. A complete history of Hope's Teeth Academy? This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. But there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. What is different? To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. Um, so it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. And it was all caused by a single high school girl. Yeah, it was me! Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. Yes, everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. So you gotta play Spot the Difference! Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy. Time to play some Gong Gong Run by Trivia! The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring war and terrorism around the world. The cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. A student of Hope's Peak Academy? The ultimate despair! Junko Enoshima! I did everything in my power to spread despair over the entire world! Just a single high school girl. That's wrong! One high school girl started the tragedy, the ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. At least that's what I remember, but that's not what this book says. Ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko Enoshima. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. To put it simply, there's more to ultimate despair than Junko Enoshima. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the ultimate despair? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Coincidence? Misremembered? And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. But boo-hoo! When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. And the world began to move towards restoration. Then the 
fight between the future Foundation and the remnants of despair raged on. But the worst case scenario was avoided. Yay, a happy ending. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history happened. Because Jingo had prepared countless ways of spreading despair. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. And forced into the killing game. Oh, I have some bad news about that. The events that my death set in motion... ...are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of despair in the Future Foundation are still fighting. But for now, we've avoided the worst of it. Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. That's wrong! It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. It was the class themselves. They shut themselves in. Shut themselves in? Why would they shut themselves in? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. During the tragedy, the 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. So our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair? Are you saying... Our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. What you've been saying isn't consistent. First you said it was just coincidence. Huh. Is that so? Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. When we found out, we came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're all the same! That's right! We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Recruitment of That's wrong! We remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The Academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, that's what I remember. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too. Maybe so, but I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. The killing game we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. But remember what Rantaro said?
but Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair. But I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. He wasn't a remnant of despair? That's impossible! He was definitely a remnant of despair. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. Yes, he loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? found in Kokichi's dorm room. Organization centered around petty crimes, one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only 10 people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. You mean, he wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. But it's still not possible. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. And neither was Kaito. Kaito didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Jungo Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it, Maybe we'd know the truth. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Hmm? What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. So the flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? Yes and I noticed something strange about it. I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. One might say there are survivors, but another would say there are no survivors. Bizarre, right? The flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, and there should only be one truth. 
but then having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? Huh? The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? Then what was it for? What was it for, huh? Huh? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? That's it. The flashback light isn't supposed to help us remember anything. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Implanting memories? Yes. The memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were... Not real. They were all false memories. They were all lies! Lies?! What a horrible truth! If the memories from the flashback lights are lies... Everything was a lie! All oh, the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing! Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. Well, that is what it means. Huh? Flies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? It's just as Shuichi said. The flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. The light they emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. That light is being directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused? For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. We're not students from Hope's Peak? Yep, that was all fake. Looking back, it was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? <laughs> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied.
He usurped the Mastermind's role, but in doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the Mastermind played along with a lie. The Mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being controlled. You all were! Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yep! We gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students, the symbol of hope! So you all could face despair! You controlled us with that big memory? Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? At first, you ran away from the Gopher Project, humanity's last hope. But then, you bravely chose to accept your fate. You took on all the wishes of your friends and family. And now, you remember how you got here. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. I have to escape! I'll never give up! I won't be defeated by the Mastermind! Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? You were controlling our emotions? Even our resolve to defeat the Mastermind? This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. If the participants aren't trying their best to live, it's just not very exciting. Oh, the memories were fake? Then what was everything till now? That memory... And that memory, 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 and that... <sighs> if they were all big memories, then... Where are we? Why are we in this killing game? Yeah, who knows? My plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. So figure out why on your own. This is a class trial, after all. Who are you? I don't know who you are. What's not to understand? I became me. What about that don't you get? If this killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will. But we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak, so you can't be Junko. So who the hell are you? I need no one else. What is this? Huh? You know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island killing game. Oh my 
Hajime Hinata. That's not what we mean! What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying. Cosplaying? Yeah, this is just cosplay. But it's not just normal cosplay, because I can perfectly replicate the character. Check it out! Even my voice sounds exactly the same. Is Junko and Oshima also? Yeah, it's my cosplay. I can perfectly reproduce a number of characters and actually become them! This is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. Cosplay as students of Hope's Peak Academy. Because Sumugi told us. this mean? What? If what I said was the truth, then Hope's Peak Academy was... It's fictional. It's all fictional? Fictional? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. Hope's Peak, the Future Foundation, and the remnants of despair do not exist. Because it's all fiction, none of it actually happened in the real world. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Danganronpa. Gungun Ranpa? What? What are you even talking about? What? You've never heard of Gungun Ranpa? We're all characters in it. That's right! Me, that nasty pig bark, and everyone else are all fictional. Hold on. Then, Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist? Nope, because it's fiction! Doesn't exist in the real world! What? Isn't that surprising? Yeah, up till now you thought fiction was fact. Fiction is just fiction. Dungan Rampa's just fiction. This whole Dungan Rampa story was just stuffed into your memories. For that reason, you all believed that work of fiction was, in fact, reality. And that's how we put on a cosplay performance for everyone to see. A cosplay performance of the whole wide dog and romp off world! A cosplay of the whole wide world? So, this was all fake? Everything was made up? And the whole time, we thought it was real? Did you think the ultimate cosplayer's talent was only limited to characters? It'd be kind of lame if that was all the big bad mastermind could do. I can do far more than that. I can cosplay the world itself. So if you want to make me your enemy... Then your enemy is the world of Danganronpa itself. Danganronpa itself? But... why? Why would you do this? Why make us think it's real? Well, duh! It's so you don't play the killing game. This is the world of Danganronpa, you know? No shit we're playing the killing game. It's not just any killing game. It's a killing game that takes place in the real world, propped up by fiction. In other words, it's ultimate real fiction! But 
if it's fiction. If everything isn't real. Then the world being in ruins is also fiction, right? The world outside is fine, right? Right, of course! How did you like that scene? Our staff worked very hard on it. Staff? There's no need to worry about the people backstage. Anyway, back to our conversation. You guys can just relax. The world hasn't been destroyed. Really? It's not destroyed? Then we can all go home and... <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> Why? If the world is still intact, then we have homes to return to... I told you that ain't happening, you dumb sea urchin-headed... Wait, that's me. Monokuma, what's going on? Do you really want to know? <laughs> Forget about the world! It wants nothing to do with you! The walls of this academy are your world now! The outside world is of no concern to you! The audience certainly agrees with me, isn't that right, you guys? watching this killing game transpire. Of course, those you see here are only a fraction of our total viewers. It's just like Shuichi said. This was all arranged because people want to see it. See, this was all a show. This whole killing game. Yeah. Everyone in this whole peaceful world watches this show. Peaceful world? world? The outside world is peace itself. There's no despair or wars and... Ship! All the people in this peaceful world are straight up crazy for this killing game! <laughs> but wait, why would a peaceful world need a game like this? It's because the world is so peaceful that this killing game is necessary! It is so very peaceful, and so... It is so very boring. With so much peace, people have become bored. They need stimulation. We created this ultimate real fiction so Danganronpa could fulfill that need. Every person in the outside world watching this is a huge Danganronpa fan. Everyone loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone. So it's everyone's killing school semester. This killing game is the latest entry in Danganronpa! The long-awaited sequel that everyone has been waiting for! This is the truth of this killing game! Isn't it the ultimate real fiction? We... We were forced to play some fictional killing game? Danganronpa! You noticed way too late. There's no Danganronpa without Monokuma! Since I'm here, that means this is Danganronpa! What is this? Can't you tell? It's the title of the current Danganronpa you guys are doing. A testament to the unquenchable thirst this blood-soaked world has for Danganronpa. What do you mean? Danganronpa's gone on so long because the whole world enjoys and supports it. Huh? How long has 
is it gone on? Did you forget what season of Duncan Rampa this is? You guys are dumber than ants. What do you think? What? What number killing game is this? What season do you think we're on? You should be able to tell from the logo. <laughs> and if that's not enough of a hint, just feast your eyes below my belt. Ronpa 1, 2, then 3. The seasons just kept coming, and with it came more killing games. Until it transcended games and anime to become this, the ultimate real fiction. And now we're in the Do the letter in there throw you off? Well, I guess that happens. But isn't it just rad how it looks like a letter, but it's really a number? Our title is the 53rd, as this is the 53rd game we have masterminded. It was supposed to be a hint, but whatever. I'm over it. Since this is the 53rd season, one would expect to see a multitude of characters. But you only have memories from the first two, so you wouldn't recognize any others. That's why I've limited myself to only cosplaying as Hope's Peak characters. Is it sinking in yet? This killing game is just the 53rd season of Danganronpa. The 53rd Danganronpa. Trapped in a fictional Danganronpa-inspired world and forced to play the killing game. That is what the world desired from you. So yes, I'm the mastermind. But the real mastermind forcing you to do this is... The people of the outside world! The people of the outside world are the ones who are forcing you to do this! The whole world is the real mastermind? The reason I made this world? The reason you guys did the killing game? It's all because the outside world wants it, you know? It's not just me. It's everyone involved in this project. Project? What? You don't know what that is. Is your brain leaking oil or something? The ones managing this killing game are psychos like the remnants of despair. They're literal managers! Literally! So I want to hear your best guess. What company is running this show?
Team Danganronpa? Yeah! The company that makes Danganronpa is called Team Danganronpa. You guys are behind in your studies! The audience knew the answer right away! It's in the title credits at the start, too. Thank you.